you how much longer by any chance? I'm sorry? I said, do you know how much longer? Oh, Mr. Blackwood will be with you any moment now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're actually in my chair. Hello. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Oh my God. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Pretending not to understand what I'm saying? Okay, Graham, it's time to go. Move it, lady. Get out of my chair. Hey, ease up. Mom, you okay? This human 404 heir is your mother? Yes. You scaring her. What's the problem? Well, for one thing, she's walking around like she's lost in a maze. Buying the cheese, Grandma. Ma'am, please don't speak to my mother this way. Can she even understand me? My feet are killing me, and she doesn't even care. Ma'am, she's hard of hearing. Please, try to be patient. Patient? You want me to be patient? I have an important interview, and she slithered into my chair like a sedated snail. My future is on the line, and she's stuck in park. She has osteoporosis. She needs this chair. Maybe she should stay home then, and not steal other people's chairs. If your feet hurt so much, why don't you just take off your shoes? You expect me to walk barefoot into my interview? Okay, no. Look, Granny, it's time to move. Otherwise, I'm going to take drastic measures. And nobody wants that. Show some respect and decency to your elders. Decency? How about a little gratitude for the fact that I am an actual contributing member of society who pays into the system that funds her retirement and all her privileges? You know what striking here is? Oh, God, do tell. How do you make assumptions on things you have no knowledge of? I don't care about your pathetic lives. I just want my chair back. Okay, then. You need to calm down and respect my mother. The person who needs a chair gets the chair. Oh, look who's making all the assumptions now. How do you know I don't need that chair? I'm a real good judge of character. Well, if you knew anything about me, you would know to mind your own business. I can sit wherever I want. No, you can't. Show some respect for those with disability. Who needs this chair? Oh, wow, I didn't know that this chair is actually reserved for people with intellectual disability. My mother has a real disability. Unfortunately, I see you're struggling with a different type of disability. A lack of empathy and understanding. The only disability that I have is surrounded by idiot syndrome. That's my invisible disability. Great. But you're still not getting the chair. I am so done with this. If I can't sit in the chair, no problem. I'll perch. You better hope I nail this interview. I doubt you will, though. Oh, I will. Watch me. Like I said before, I'm a great judge of character. Ava. How do you know my name? Let's just say I like to do my homework before interviews. I am Julian Blackwood, by the way. The president. Should we finish this interview here? And this woman right here is Augusta Blackwood, founder of Blackwood Incorporated. I'm sure the name sounds familiar. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Blackwood. I'm such an admirer of your work and all your accomplishments are just, they're so inspiring. (laughs) I am just so excited to work with the company. So why don't we just move on? I mean, they see they're not hurting that bad. Spares the act. You're just making it worse. We've seen how you perform under pressure. Let me share something with you, dear. I built this company from the ground up. 
with nothing but sweat, tears, and dedication. <laughs> I know what it means to face challenges and overcome them with grace and humility. What I see in you is a lack of respect for others, for time, and for the opportunities given to you. See, respect is not just a word, Ava. Mm -mm. It's a value that you earn when you show patience, kindness, and compassion toward others. Oh, and that's what we look for in our employees at Blackwood Incorporated. You see, we just don't hire people who are qualified. We look for people who are willing to learn, grow, and work as a team together. And for what we've seen here today, you're not that person. Which is so unfortunate because on paper, such a strong candidate... You could have had the job, Ava, but you blew it. Good luck. Loved our video? Click here to watch the next one. If you enjoy our content, hit the subscribe button and join us on our journey to 500,000 subscribers. Also, don't forget to tell us what you thought of the video by commenting below.